So YouTube, what do we have here? Well, we got a brand new Burgess and Stratton Intec 19.0 horse, 540cc. Um, well, put that on my zero turn now. Um, costed us around $750. So, uh, wasn't cheap. But uh, it was cheaper than getting a whole new Kohler. And definitely a lot cheaper than getting a whole new mower. So, uh, can't argue with that really. Um, the Kohler motors were selling for like $1,200, and we got this one for around $600 plus. The fact that we got a dealership and stuff instead of uh, just ordering, I guess I could have just ordered it offline, but you know, I wasn't really sure. He, he, uh, the guy went through and checked the specs up and stuff, made sure it would all plug in and hook up for us. Uh, so there's not really much I had to do. The only thing I really had to do was I had to thread the um, block here. I had to put threads going up in there. And actually what I realized is um, when I bought I, I got a tap, but I think these are either metric holes or they weren't the exact size of the tap. Um, I think these were 3 8 tap I needed for that, or either 3 8 5 16 I can't remember. Uh, I think they're 3 8 um, But, uh, no, it's 5 16 I'm sorry. Um, but I noticed... Uh, as I thread it up, it didn't cut the roots of the thread all the way down in there, so I wound up having to get, also get longer bolts and then just put a nut on the end so that way it wouldn't come loose because I didn't really trust that uh, portion all the way. Uh, that. But anyways, uh, that went in. And uh, another thing I did notice is I should have, before I filled this up with the oil, because they don't ship them with the oil, I should have put a pipe coming out to here or coming out to the end here for oil drain um, but yeah well next time I go to drain the wall I'll do that uh, I know it's gonna be a mess though so um, just the air filter it's got a pre-cleaner and everything on it Um, another thing I, you got to do is whenever you take the uh, pulleys um, off or the um, clutch, this uh, PTO clutch, it's electronic PTO clutch, um, it is a must that you put anti-seize on the shaft. You can see there's a little bit up right there. Uh, the reason why is if you ever have to take this off, it's going to kick you in the balls if you're trying to, uh, if that seizes up on the shaft. I mean, it's it sucks. So. Um, you know, you, you wind up destroying the pulley, but uh, sometimes you have to even wind up cutting them off. It it, it really sucks. You put anti seize on it, it usually just slides right off, um, like the day you put it on. So it usually will just fall right off. Um, so even if it had anti seize on it with the old motor, if you're putting that on, which it did, put some fresh stuff on, put some uh, new stuff on, wipe out the old stuff. Uh, you know, it'll really take care of you. So. Uh, well, instead of me yapping away about it, oh, I don't know if I discussed this, but this is, um, at 36,000 RPM, uh, it does go faster than the old one. The old one motor had 32,000 RPM, so, uh, it, these blades, they, uh, they have a low, they have a high speed on the blades, very little torque, but high speed. Uh, it all comes in torque and low speed, but uh, I noticed that these blades stay You know what? I'll even start them up. I'll let you hear them. They, they're real loud um, When they go, but uh, I think I want to put bigger pulleys on it because uh, I have a lot of belt slippage And I really don't need all that speed. It cuts fine until the belt slips um, So yeah, I put slightly bigger pulleys on it, give it a little more torque but it does it definitely one plus is when you have more horsepower when you do have more RPMs, um, you go faster. But the blades also spin faster, so it shortens your uh, cutting time. So basically, you're getting the same cut out of what you got uh, at a lower speed from the old motor. So um, I will start it up. Uh, I'm not going to sit on that seat. I left it out in the sun. And you hear that. That's, um, I don't know if I discussed that, but I think it's just needs a new solenoid, uh, because the old one did that too. Um, and I thought it was the starter going bad, and I adjusted the valves on the older one, and, um, 
I can't imagine that this one would need valve adjustment already, but uh. I can tell you that for a fact. Ooh, the seat's hot. Alright, listen to this now. See how loud that is? But, um, last night I did run it through a heat cycle. Um, I ran it through a heat cycle this morning. And then I just mowed the grass full speed and stuff, and then this uh, gave it a rest after about 20 minutes and let it cool down a little bit. So, uh, and I'm gonna continue mowing the grass then. So, you know, uh, just proper braking. You know, most people I see, even the brand new lawnmowers and brand new engines, you just get them right out of the box and just rev the piss out of them and just run them. Uh, these don't run fast to begin with, really. They run at 3,600. You could break them in at that, you know, a lot of push mowers you can't even change the speed either way, but it's okay. They're, I just like to do it uh, to uh, break it in real well, but, um, you know, it doesn't hurt you to really run it for 10 minutes. I mean, it's not going to really use much gas to do it, so give it a few heat cycles, and uh, it'll really uh, enhance the life. Also, another thing is I did keep the original... Um, hour gauge so it's 470 hours still from when the uh, old engine went it's about to go to 471 now but um, what I did is I put a little uh, tag on the bottom there and I wrote 470 hours engine replaced so that way in case this where ever gets sold or something like that people will know um, that it's a new engine and uh, you know we write it down and stuff um, so that way we remember that the engine was replaced at 470 hours so we know that how many hours are on the engine itself because you know that's a big thing when you sell it you know someone doesn't want to really buy something that has thousands and thousands of hours on it uh, but really this is just to get the mower through the rest of its life um, you know as long as I can get at least 300 hours on this motor if not more you know I really would like to get more but um, you know never know before anything else happens like the trains go because once that happens, uh, we really have no use of keeping this one. So, get at least 300 hours on it. And if the trans goes or anything like that, I'll just take that motor back off. Because that, um, and, you know, I don't know what I'll do with it, maybe sell it. Um, but that's what we'll do if anything else were to happen to this. So, yeah, well, um, that's all that I have to really show about that. You can see it's a Zoom 1740. The old motor was a 17 horse Kohler, which I'll show you that in a minute. And it's got a 40 inch cut on it, which is plenty big for uh, what we need. Okay, the old motor. There's the Kohler sitting over there in the corner. It's a shame, but I don't know. I may just tear it apart. So. Oh, well, I gotta get back to mowing grass.